What is up you guys? Welcome back to another adventure on the bite. I got I got to tie on my spinner. I got to re-rig my bobber. I'm basically not prepared. But while I take care of this, why don't you guys check out this fish we fought the other day? Oh baby. Oh, Chris is onto a good fish. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Nice little guy. Not a big fish, but a fight. I'm on my nine foot six rod right here. And he's smacking around like it's my little rod. On the nightmare jig. On the jig, huh? I was just, oh, 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 oh. there you go. Woo! Fish Beautiful. is getting bigger. We've been trying to, uh, we've been trying to put the bobbers to work today. And, you know, not, not just try to hook fish on spinners all day and really get through the, uh, all the good runs with uh, our bobbers first before we even think about spinner fishing. And it paid off. Nice nightmare jig fish right here. It's got some really nice spots. Beautiful fish. Wow, yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. Look at that right, that's right in nice. the tip of the nice of buck. The, um, nose too. Okay, give me one second. Not ready for me. Anger box. Ooh, damn. Okay, that one's off. Was it? Yeah, it was dead. Like right before this happened. Woohoo! Yours is on, right? Yeah. Oh! Oh, there it goes. Bye bye. Popped right out right then. Clearly a wild fish. I'm yep. still stoked. We got the best part of it. I saw the fin on it, so. And it was right here at my my, my knees. With a net, we would have uh, got that fish, Definitely. but we don't ever net wild fish. We don't even bring a net down on the river with I, us I'd like this. I'd rather that happen right there than have it tangle in the net for five minutes. And, and you got your jig still, right? It just yeah, popped it just, out? Oh, that's know. perfect. That's like the I mean, that's the cleanest release you could ever hope yeah, for. Yeah, you saw it right in the, the, the tip of the beak there. All right, so I'll show you guys what uh, just hooked that fish. It was a nightmare pattern with the white head, red body, little black frill to it. And on top of that, I got probably 30 inches of uh, 10 pound mono up to an inline weight, up to a double bead, because this was a little bead, so I wanted to protect that knot a little better. And so I put two on there, got my bobber to another bead, and then my, uh, my stopper's way up here. So that hole to me looked like it was about four feet deep. And I'm running about four feet. So that thing must've been right on the bottom. You know, honestly, I like to run, run my jig a little bit higher because uh, you know the fish will come up to it. If I'm fishing a 10 foot hole and I got six foot, you know, six foot depth out there onto my jig, the fish are going to come up to it and smack it. I've had it happen plenty of plenty of times. So you know, don't overthink it. You know, we've talked about this many times on the channel. Um, fishing is a lot about confidence. Confidence is key. Uh, meaning, if I go down to a hole and I catch a fish. For the rest of my fishing career, I'm gonna remember that there was a fish in there. And it's gonna give me that drive to keep casting, you know, to keep uh, keep trying no matter what. I know that eventually there's gonna be another fish in there. So when you're checking out new water and you haven't hooked anything yet, it could be daunting. You know, it can make you wanna, oh, I need to just go back to the river I know about. You know, stuff like that, but Wow, it's nice. You know, it'll make you want to go back to the, the river you're used to, back to the holes you're used to, the ones that created that confidence. Um, but if you stick it out and you hook one, it could change your whole, you know, your whole thing. Like, anyway. Although that was the only fish hooked, we left the river with plans to wake up again another day on a cold, dark, wet, foggy morning and give it a shot all over again. Cause that my friends is winter steelheading.